Hi everyone, welcome to Galanda Ace 120 Plus series. Here we discuss a model question for your prelims 2021 and facts and knowledge informations related with that particular topic asked in the question. So here the question is, which of the following are most likely outcomes if the RBI decides to adopt an expansionary monetary policy? First statement, reduction in interest rates. Second, rising demand for foreign bonds. Third, decrease in exchange rate. Fourth, potential increase in exports. So, four statements are given. So, you need to pick the correct statements according to the situations given. Most likely outcomes if the RPA decides to adopt an expansionary monetary policy. What is this expansionary monetary policy? RBA is expanding the monetary supply, money supply in the economy. So, RBA is going to expand the money supply. That means... RB is going to reduce the interest. Okay. When RBA reduce the interest, then plenty of money will be available in the economy through banks. Banks will give more loans and banks will have enough money to give loans. Because of low interest, public will take more loans and no more. So, reduction in interest rate. Yes, it is the first immediate outcome of expansionary monetary policy to expand the monetary policy RBI automatically reduce the interest so it will affect the interest rates of banks so reduction in interest rate that is correct outcome of expansionary monetary policy second rising demand for foreign bonds when expansionary monetary policy is adopted that means reduction in interest which means reduction in interest of deposits and bonds in the country reduction in the interest in all of the country so reduction in domestic bonds which will when there is a reduction in domestic bond the demand for foreign bonds will increase if interest rate for domestic bond is 10 percentage because of uh, expansionary monetary policy it will Deducted reduced to 8 percentage. If so, now the interest rate of the domestic bond is 8 percentage. At the same time, foreign bonds which gives a return of 10 percentage is there automatically. All will prefer this 10 percentage interest rate foreign bond. So, the demand for domestic bond will fall down. So, rising demand for foreign bonds. So, second statement is also correct, it is an outcome of expansionary monetary policy increase in the exchange decrease in the exchange rate yes expansionary monetary policy means more money more money will be supplied into the economy that means more currency will be available in the economy when there is plenty of availability of any commodity will reduce the demand okay whatever commodity if they are available in plenty then it will reduce the demand that is a basic demand supply theory if any commodities are available in plenty of number then it will automatically reduce it will automatically reduce its demand okay any commodities whatever commodities if they are available in so much number it will it is reduce their demand that is basic demand supply theory so if currency is also available in large number it will reduce its demand the re demand for currency will automatically reduced so it will reduce the exchange rate okay the currency will depreciate a decrease in the exchange rate then fourth potential increase in exports yes when there is fall in the price exchange rate of currency and currency depreciation happens it will positively impact exports. It will increase the exports. So, all four options are outcomes of expansionary monetary policy. So, the answer is not A, B, C, D. It is the answer is option D. All statements are correct. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Thank you.